sure to get this guy. So it's uh, the last things that are 1-1-1. One, one, one. We're going to try to go up against Team Star again. That guy. And then should be good from there. Try with this guy. Okay. Three of our Pokemon in ten minutes. Okay. Try this again. Yo, what's up? Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. All my Pokemon are doing good. Okay, this might be a little bit easier. Nice. Hey, you. Okay. Jigglypuffs and a Wigglytuff. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Whew. It's getting a little laggy. Everything's moving a little slow. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fine, y'all got it. There we go. Okay. Some more down here. Okay. I should probably get an OLED. Okay, just four more. One more. There we go. Okay. And we got that done. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. I'm telling you guys, like, it, it's, it's... We've gotten a stronger sense. Like, ooh. Okay, all the hearts. We have gotten stronger. Just... <sighs> boss of Team Stars, Fairy Crew, Ortega. Huh, so you're Knight. Okay, talk about underwhelming. I expected someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Hey, hold up, hold up. You can't be talking like that. You can't be talking like that right now. You gotta... Okay, if you think fairy times are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. Well, they are cute, but like, the cute as they are, my Pokemon are stronger. Jump up. I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when this battle sends you blubbering back home. Okay. Leech Seed. The attack, now! Battle. Poison. Get the passive damage going. Passive damage. Still works. That way, if they ever make moves like that, they still get hurt. Giga Drain. I thought that would work, but you know, this is worth a shot. Okay. Outmatch you are. If you want to give up, now's the time. Heck nah. Plus, we can't really run from a Pokemon battle. From an actual you know, trainer battle. Okay. Battle. Giga Drain. That's it. Done. Give me my health back.
Okay. Next up. Twitch Pokemon. With Lucario. Get in there. Come on, Lucario. You got this. Meteor Mash. Yes, Lucario. Mm. Coming in with the TKO. Switch Pokemon. Float Zell. Okay. Whirlpool. Ah, I avoided the attack. Okay. Have a taste of the slick move. Bet you can't handle my Pokemon's adorable strength. <laughs> Whirlpool. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Liquidation. Yes. Oh, God. Swift. We're trying to send out Reva Room. What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. I mean, it's totally. This is a legal match. Do. I mean. Aren't I supposed to switch out Pokemon? Okay, let's do. Sends out. Pomo. Yeah. Pomo didn't get a chance to shine last time. Pomo's been taking hits like left and right and not getting a win, so Pomo needs a win. Pomo needs a win. Let's say let's do Spark. That win is not today. That win is not today. Pomo. Oh my god. So sorry. Okay. Spark Tooth. Come on. Flamethrower. Confuse Ray? Really? You want to... Ah. Crap. Flamethrower, come on. Gotta use flamed. Come on. Come on, Spark Tooth, come on. Yes. Finally, got some damage on it. Torch Song. There we go. Shadow Ball. Not again. Stop it. Stop it. Come on, Shadow Ball. And then... We're going to use Hyper Voice. OK. 
Come on, Sparktooth. Damn. Hyper voice. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Dang it. Alright. Pokemon. Talonflame. Uh, Airways. It's not that effective. Not com Stop confusing me, Pokemon! Stop confusing me, Pokemans! Nah! Acrobatics. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you... Flame charge. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. No. What is with my Pokemon? They're so easily confused. What the heck? Pokemon. Jump up. Get in there. Give, give him some passive damage because nothing's working. Seed. Doesn't affect the level. Oh my god. How did you get confused? How? How did you get confused? He didn't even use Confuse Ray. What? What? Oh, that's very powerful against... Uh, how? How? Meteor Mash. I was... You can't... You can't be doing that. You can't... You can't... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Confusing all my Pokemon. God. How could I lose? What the heck? That's what I said. About a year and a half ago. Oh, what the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile. And I was up all night building it. The problem is clearly that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two car cadets. But it's just too heavy. That's just a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry, I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow. Tis no occasion for a melan melancholy. Mel mel melancholy. I don't know how to pronounce the word. Why do you make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand? Genius. Thy name is Otega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all that effort would have zero payout, I'd have just asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Mella, cool it, would you? Yeah, how about no? I mean, even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? Wow, really? If that hunk of junk doesn't move... 
get it moving. If we're short on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Mel Millie. Do you, ugh, I can't read. Do you have an actual plan? Yep. I'm going to train up my Char Cadet and have them evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the, the Starmobile moving in no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Really, wait. You know, Mela shoots her mouth off an awful lot. But she means well. I know. God, this sucks. Dang. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. And going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. Ah, <sighs> fine. Not like I have no choice anyway. So take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. Alright, cool. This is a little awkward smile, handshaked. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM2. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Dazzling Gleam. Nice. Uh, I don't use any of the TMs. I don't know if anybody does, but I, I don't. I also haven't actually used the uh, power-up in this game. Uh, and just so you know, you are the worst. Like, the most annoying person ever. We're friends now. That's how you know. But I get it. You're super strong. I don't admit that much. But even busted up my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. I guess it's time for my PO lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss style, so I'm all good to head ho on home. Uh, actually, a different matter brought me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. Name's Clive. Okay. That's your... What's your business here? I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major major apparel company. So why join a group of like Teen Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer is the same as everyone else in the t team. In the, de 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 in the team. It's because I was being bullied. So the academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As a former director of the academy, I believe I'm the best position to answer that question. Mr. Harrington, about 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted students who used to bully them. And an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of Heth have to tow unknown prop proportions. I can't. I can't read. As a result of that occurred day, the students who had perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy, one after another. But, but there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all records of the incident. You see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star and the Atom after the incident, a certain student came to see me. A student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exert, ex exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No. No one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary actions against Team Star. Then I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. No. No way. Yo. Yo. Team Star's boss, their head honcho, which is... 
actually oh my god this he took it upon himself to go out to the principal to the headmaster and say no nah, just put it all on me when it comes to team star this side they were in oh my god this this pokemon story is like yo a year and a half of studying abroad this was not intended as a punishment you understand team star were victims after all i wanted the students to take some time to rest so i had them return home to the galar region to the galar region under the pretext of under overseas study Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the Academy's servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing? That's terrible. After we discovered what we had done, what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff had then joined me in, hand, in handing in their notices. What? Is that what it was? Nah. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decide to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends and Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure. Oh. You can't do that to me. You can't do that to me, Pokemon. Pokemon, you can't do that to me. Oh, God, no. Oh. Oh, my God. Knight, it's me. I take it that Ortega handed over his star badge to you then? Yeah, he did. I see. With this boss no longer around, the rock box squad is a, as good as finish. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation has been a huge success thanks to you, Knight. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that your acquaintances, have you known each other long? Uh, yeah, for a while now. Yeah, Jen Ortega. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He's almost, He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. I have, I have the, I messed up my camera when I went down. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, back in what day? Which gang? Which gang? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star, though you could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from the battle the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another. 
The team star ended up the villainous, the the teams and team star ended up the villains of the story. Damn. That's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. I have not used the elite points at all yet. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Make good use of those TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give you your bonus reward. Yes! Benny! Uh, here I am. Yeah, stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? <laughs> yeah. Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the police to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been pl had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everyone to face their bullies, despite knowing how messed up the Academy is. What a massive idiot, creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would actually work out. I'm sure of it. Well... Here's your reward. You received lots of Pokemon materials. Nice. The next boss is the very last one. We're counting you, mate. Bye, Petty! Hey guys, it's Knight here. I'm just here to say, hey, if you liked anything that you saw in this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if there's a game that you want me to try out, don't be afraid to just write it down in the comments. I'll be love to see what y'all suggest. And one last thing, if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything that comes out. Alright? Peace out.